it is so easy to be disappointed. I get these expectations built up in my head and then wham, disappointment and sadness. But in his first letter to the Thessalonians, Paul writes this, rejoice always. Is that the whole verse? Yes, rejoice always. Always? Always. Always? Always. 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 Oh, what about when I feel sad? Our circumstances might not be happy, but happiness is not the same thing as joy. True biblical joy involves a trusting hope in Christ, no matter our circumstances, which can sometimes be really hard or sad. But what if I'm really disappointed in a person or situation? Practicing unconditional forgiveness allows us to obey the command to rejoice always. A bitter, unforgiving heart blocks joy and prevents us from living to the fullness of God. The Thessalonians lived in difficult circumstances. They lived in an environment that was hostile towards Christians, but they were able to be joyful in the Lord. Paul wrote several of his letters while in prison. Well, he didn't live under his difficult circumstances. He rose above them by rejoicing in the Lord. Thanking God for all that he has given us, time, talent, family, friends, things, and recognizing him as the source is the beginning of experiencing joy regardless of life's hardships or disappointments. This is one way that we can be good stewards of our lives. Here's a prayer for today as we continue to learn to rejoice. Lord, help me to rejoice today in all that you've trusted me with so I can honor you and advance your kingdom. God bless you as you rejoice today.